Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at part three of designing a motorcycle trailer in Blender. The criteria for today's design is the trailer should have a lowering or tilting bed lowered to the floor or at least tilted so that access to the trailer is at ground level with only a slight incline if any at all is needed and lastly I've decided the trailer has to remain attached to the tow hitch of the car when loading the bike on and off okay let's get started this is the present trailer and setup The bike's changed slightly cosmetically but it'll do in principle for the design. Things I like about the trailer present, the front wheel chuck, brilliant. If you've never used one and you have a bike as long as the wheel chuck is solid, solidly mounted, even if it's on the workshop floor, then it'll serve you well. This is the height of the tow ball above the ground. Now, the trailer in this position is slightly pointing upwards and I'm surprised at that. I thought it would be just about horizontal. But anyway, that's the trailer ball, tow ball height. things I like about it it's reasonably well manoeuvrable I like this jacking wheel jockey wheel I like these size wheels tyres the trailer itself is quite heavy and then there's the added ramp what I don't like is the height at this position walking alongside it is too precarious and that's why I want something that has a bed that lowers to the floor or at least tilts So, back to Blender and the design. Here we are in Blender looking at this reference photo which has been brought into Blender using Add Image and Reference. We also see 
a model in various stages a floor plane which in actual fact is just a cube remodeled stretched scaled and a framework in various stages the colors are just to define the various parts and just as an aside we can change the color using this icon the material properties and then just selecting so these colors are just to differentiate between one part and another in this cube or floor plane is just to help me understand whether the wheels or any other part is actually touching the floor during the design process. Here we see the Blender workspace with reference photos that can be positioned, scaled, rotated to suit whatever your needs are and models some welded together some separate some duplicated we're going to position positioning the workspace to see a difference a drop down plate makes when positioning an axle on a chassis member these objects have been created using add mesh and cylinder and add mesh and cube and then the cube and the cylinder have been scaled and moved resized and then welded together so that they rotate around the axle so let's have a little look oh one last point the position on this bed which gives us an idea of when an object touches what would be the floor so the wheels and tires are just touching I'll demonstrate that by just moving them down and you see that it's gone through the floor so moving it up so that it's just brushing the floor will give me an idea of when this end touches the floor and how high this structure becomes 
Solidariteten. Rotating that axle and that wheel tyre and the chassis compared to rotating this one which has a drop down link lowering the chassis and lessening the angle how did I get them all to rotate about the same pivot point well in this instance for simplicity I just welded them together so that when I rotate the wheel and tyre everything that's attached to it the axle, the drop down link the chassis they all just rotate around the same pivot point which is the centre of the axle through the wheel and tyre. Now the purpose of this is to create more than one instance of links positioning it above and below the centre line in front or behind the centre line and seeing what it does to this diagonal chassis because that's going to be important when this back end of the chassis touches the floor that's the limit and then the spine which is this part will either have to tilt equal to this angle or be lowered flat to the floor that's just where I am with designing the drop links just to see what they do and what's the best sound. I'll wind it up at that point. Thanks for joining me. Join me again soon.